Hello, neighbor. Oh, he's not looking at me. It's Friday. Welcome to Friday. It's Tony and the boy. It's Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Song. <laughs> It's a long weekend here. It's Victoria Day weekend. It's time to get happy. It's time to get lit. It's time to <coughs> take your wife dancing. And I'm sick because the boy got me sick. Well, like, the boy got Keisha sick and Keisha got me sick. Well, stop hanging out with Keisha so much. She won't get you so sick. It's all his fault. Is the bottom line. Yeah. You? I have drink. We came to visit Mama Daly. I don't know why the boy is hiding in her kitchen. You guys, look how nice her kitchen is. Hi, Miko. Miko! Hi, Miko! Hi, Miko! Hi, Miko! Hi, Miko! Okay. She wants to give you a tour of her, um, what do you call this? Her deck yeah, slash gazebo, deck. gazebo. So here's the, is this finished? Yes. Are you sure? the finished product except i'm gonna put some lights up here oh she's gonna put string lights she's copying me mm -hmm. and then her little seating area and here you can sit right there having breakfast uh, i'd rather not but miko you good say hi to the tonettes they missed you so much oh my goodness you're so cute miko you're so cute Yeah, so we just decided to do a quick visit with Mama Daily. I have a Hall's candy in my mouth, so excuse me if I sound ridiculous, but I have the worst tickle in my throat. So anyways, yeah, we're just going to do a quick visit here. Unfortunately, she didn't cook, and I'm hungry, so I think we're going to do a short visit. Go grab lunch, and then I want to go home and start taking these out. I'm over them. Look how messy they are. Like I, They serve their purpose, you know what I mean? They got me through vacation. I think it's been two weeks only, but I'm over it. On to the next. Hi guys, today is Saturday. Do you guys see it's, does it look blurry? There you go, see this camera, I don't know. The focus seems to be, I don't know, getting worse. But anyways, happy Sunday. Marley say happy Sunday. She's sad because we're outside in the front yard working. And um, our front yard's not fenced, so. She's just sitting there pitifully because she can't come outside to play. But yeah, happy Sunday, guys. We are, it's so beautiful. Look at me in my tank top. I'm actually outside doing yard work with the boy. Are you guys impressed? It's not really yard work. Excuse me, I am doing work. He's spraying the, um, the lawn as well as like the pathway with this weed killer stuff. Yeah. Super chemicals. And I'm using this. What is this thing called? It's There's called, a word for it. Yeah, it's called a... Oh, there you go. It's called a stand-up weeder. Weeder. And what you do... Can you hold it? Can you control it? <laughs> <clears throat> what you do, basically, is you'd see these little claws. You just find the roots or the center of the, the weed like that. You push it in. I'll just find the center of your weed and push it in. Excuse me? And then you put your foot at the end and pull. Oh, magic. And it takes up the weed and then you go like this. And it's gone like magic. It's actually really good. There was, my neighbor was trying to tell me to use this thing that looked like a, like a, almost like a, like a screwdriver. screwdriver and to get on my hands and knees and start picking them out. Yeah. But what you see here, you don't see that many, but literally, they say maybe, maybe a hundred on the lawn, but there was 2000, like maybe three <laughs> days ago. Yeah, Imagine so. on your hands and knees for, for four to six hours to pull these out. No. Yeah. Somebody invented a better way. So we're just here slowly. I should have put my hair up, but slowly plugging away. Trying to get these weeds up and get the lawn in order. You need to bend over more, probably. You're not doing it right. I'm doing just fine, thank you. You're not doing it right. Okay, are you ready to see my handiwork? Ready? Ta-da! I have one pile right there, one pile right there, and I made three piles. I don't know, what did I do with the, oh, one pile right there. So, that took a very long time, you guys. <laughs> but I'm done. 
I've worked up quite an appetite, so hopefully the boy um, makes dinner soon. He actually bought a new kitchen toy that I will show you guys, but, and I'm still sick. So right now I'm just going to clean up my piles and go inside and get a snack, girl. Yard work is complete for now. I remember I told you guys the boy bought a new kitchen gadget. This is it. It is. We've succumbed to the pressures of the internet to buy something that uh, <laughs> is good for us. I so. feel like it's Kyo Chemist's fault. Kyo Chemist is 100% her fault. She keeps putting up all this greasy looking food, which apparently isn't greasy, but makes me hungry every time I watch it. So. Yeah, it's an air fryer, basically. Succumb to the air fryer by Mr. T. Fowl. T. So, Fowl. KitchenAid didn't have one. <clears throat> <laughs> no, well, if they did, it's probably way more expensive. It, yeah, this was very cheap. This we got from um, Canadian Tire. Yeah, regular 100 bucks for 70. So it was the cheapest one we could find. Yeah, so, so we're about to do an unboxing for you guys. That's exciting, right? So this is how it comes packaged. Nice, we got some uh, <laughs> protective this stuff. Um, yeah, Can I burn this? cardboard. Maybe. Put that straight to the recycling. Oh, yeah, good idea. So this one has a 2.2 uh, pound or one kilogram capacity. So it's not the biggest air fryer. Will it work for a massive party? Probably not, but for. Yours truly and my lovely wife, I feel like it's sufficient. It's good enough for us too, yeah. And it was probably the best looking one. Yeah, they had some really ugly looking ones that I didn't like. Not that I'm going to keep this out on the counter, but, no. you know, I kind of just like my stuff to look nice. This is the instruction pamphlet. This is Gabe's favorite part. She likes reading instruction really? pamphlets from front to back. Wow. Yeah, she's uh, an ideal consumer. <laughs> I'm the worst, I don't anything. All right, guys, let's see. These are safety instructions. Nobody really reads those, right? We are the dumbest people. You guys. We're dumb. <laughs> this is not an air fryer. Okay. It's a regular deep fryer. No wonder it was so cheap. So we're going to return it and actually buy an air fryer. <laughs> All right, since we bought the wrong fryer, we're just doing it the old-fashioned way. The boy is ooh, frying up some chicken on the stove and some vegetable oil. Here's how the chicken turned out, you guys. Doesn't look tasty. It is super tasty. I'm about to have a piece. Mmm. That's my happy food dance. Get out of the kitchen. Don't get used to it. Why? No, I love that deep fried living. I know. But it should be. If We're gonna get an air fryer. Air fryer. If it's healthy, like they say it is, then 100%. We'll get it on Tuesday because I don't know if I told you guys this, but it's a long weekend. Um, tomorrow's Victoria Day, which we celebrate here in Canada. In Victoria, if you're not unaware of it, Victoria was is our is our um, we is our princess. So in Canada, we don't have a queen; we have a princess, and her name is Victoria. And she's only 14 years old, and um, we've been celebrating her birthday since she's, or this day, which is her birthday, for the last 14 years. And we call it Victoria Day. And in celebration, we all uh, remodel our houses as Victorian houses. That's where the name Victoria came from. Victorian houses. Are you done? It's not the name of it. Victoria ice cream? Victoria. It's Queen Victoria's birthday. Because mm -hmm. Canada is part of the um, British Commonwealth. So we celebrate the Queen here. Although it's just a day off for me. I'm not really into the royal family stuff, I should say. Yes. Um, and I honestly could They're useless. Like, I don't understand why they're still relevant. They couldn't even care less. Like, Didn't watch the wedding. Makes no sense. You know, good for her or whatever, but yeah. At any rate, it is 10 p.m. now. We just finished getting some work done. And now, we're going to IG Live for probably like an hour. And then, see where the night takes us, right babe? Takes it to bed. Yo, we're old, so this is it. I know, we're an old we're married couple. And it's grumpy time. Uh-huh, maybe watch a movie, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll pass out. <laughs> 